Would you just start off by just your opening thoughts on today's match? Yeah, first of all, uh, I think uh, an interesting match, a competitive match, a good game. Um, playing against uh, a, a different type of opposition, a Norwegian team um, that proves and shows, you know, the mentality of uh, the area uh, in which, you know, these players, they come, they are committed, they're all uh, very competitive, they tactically very organized. They technically sound and keep the game simple, and uh, and it was a good challenge for our younger players uh, and our you know our trialist to to see you know a, a step above you know and um, and we saw some some interesting things. Unfortunately, you know I wish that we could have had eleven players. The way it was a little more competitive at the end, and maybe we could have given the chance to other players to come in as well. Uh, but uh, besides the result, because uh, at the end, we always, you know, we always want to win every game. Uh, there was a lot of good things for our players to learn, uh, the academy guys and, and all those young guys that I think uh, got a lot from this match. And, and it was good to see. It was also great to see the fans uh, support, you know, our young players as well. Um, and, uh, and, you know, the, also the, our players that are a little more senior, Fashiv, Ivan Rankin, uh, being um, you know, being able to be there and and support uh, the youth was 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 a good thing. Thank you. We'll open up to questions and we'll start with Adam Luna. Gio, uh, Gio, uh, talking about the new young players, there's a few names that I have uh, I I got from what I saw. I want you to talk a little bit about them and what you think. First of all, uh, about Sievert Hoggle. And then uh, Ian Shaw and I, Abraham Bahashili. Yes. So you mentioned, you know, two center backs. You mentioned a defensive mid. Uh, I think uh, the three that you mentioned had a good game today. I thought that uh, Ian came in in the second half and uh, with a lot of uh, pride and uh, in confidence and, you know, in show very well. Um, the game was a level that was very fast and uh, he matched up right away and he kept things very simple. And then when there were maybe a few moments in which he had to show a little bit of smartness, uh, he put that part as well in order to to stay competitive in the match. So very happy to to you know uh, to have seen what he provided today. And then the two center backs, uh, Venezuela and uh, Bahachili, Abraham um, in uh, Augli, uh, Sievert, um, Norwegian. Both have been doing very well. Both showed today a lot of confidence to come out playing from the back to be able to. Uh, have uh, the desire to make good decisions uh, and, and, uh, and when he got competitive and strong, they also put that part in. So I think it's, we've seen uh, not only from the three that you mentioned, but from all the guys, uh, so many good things. You know, we have other academy players, we have other trialists, we have other drafted players um, and all this to be able to make the squad stronger and give opportunity to players to be able to grow. Um, so I'm very happy, very happy to see uh, these new players coming in. And the three that you mentioned, I thought were some of the better players that that played uh, today. Hey, Gio. Um, you mentioned it's definitely rotated a different type of lineup tonight with, like you said, the draft picks, the the trialists. What are what are some of the goals for you have for the squad for a game like this, where it's like you said, a lot of younger players, a lot of players who don't normally see a lot of first team minutes. Um, yeah. What are some of your goals for, for a game like this tonight? Yeah, I think I think we we have to make uh, some decisions in what we wanted to, you know, um, accomplish in these three matches that we have in the tournament. So we decided to uh, have our first team, our most competitive team, you know, play last game against Minnesota. Um, and then now we gave a lot of opportunity to, to these players with others uh, in order to make sure that they're able to get minutes, but also to rest some of the players in order for them to be able to be available to play uh, this weekend. Besides that, also uh, first is is getting the guys with the, with the fitness or the fitness level that we're looking for in order to arrive to New England um, with uh, the strength that we that we need, uh, and, and and then it's about uh, getting everybody on a better place. Continue to work individually with them, collectively, uh, allow them to be able to grow, and at the same token, uh, 
you know, see some of the new players and, and see who can give us more or less and, and where they could be um, and continue to work with them. And the other group is getting guys little by little in. Um, you know, we saw uh, Bonilla, Van Rankin, uh, and, and now we're going to hopefully get Loria back soon. And, uh, and then Ayala should arrive and then Seba should start getting some minutes and, and we continue to, to move forward. Mora is still, you know, uh, in a situation in which, you know, he's not ready to, to start playing again. Uh, so that's one thing that we are analyzing right now and what are going to be the next step. And we can talk after about that situation as well. Uh, but we we are looking to get more guys back in order to to get the team stronger. Thank you. And just one another follow up. Um, one of the players tonight, Justin Rasmussen, got that uh, great goal at the end of the first half. Just your general thoughts on his performance tonight um, at the left back spot. Yeah, I, th I think. I mean, what a beautiful goal to to be the first for him, uh, and good celebration as well. Um, I think I thought that uh, he put a lot of effort. You know, he shows some of the things as an athlete. Uh, in that position that, you know, that were very important for us. Uh, there's other areas that he needs to work on and, and be better. Uh, and now that's the process in which we need to make sure that we get them to the place that we need to get them, you know, to. Uh, but uh, there's, you know, things that, that he has that make us feel that he can be a player that could have a good progress uh, to get to, you know, a good place and, and be very competitive. Gil, uh, two red cards and two preseason games. Uh, what what did you discuss with the with the ref after the game? Yeah, no, I think it was something from the fitness, uh, you know, uh, coach to to wanted to make the other guys run a little bit more. No, I, I you know I, I don't know. Um, unfortunate. I mean, the other the other the red the red card uh, that we had against Minnesota. I mean, it was a red card. It was the last man. So this one, I maybe. You know, could be a red card. I mean, it's de depending where you play in that game, that will give you a red card or not a red card. Um, but uh, again, you know, it put us in a situation which we had to suffer a little bit more again uh, towards the end, this time a little bit more minutes. Uh, but sometimes it's good, you know, to have challenges, to have challenges for players to figure things out and to stay competitive uh, and, and never give up and, and say, okay, now it's more difficult. We're not going to put the effort that we need. And no, it was different. The guys continue to put a, a lot of work. And then we put, you know, Spriya and Jimmy and, and Santi to give a little oxygen to the other guys in order for us to be able to come out, keep the ball a little bit more. And that helped us to manage the game a little bit better. Um, and it's what, you know, it, 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 the good thing is that these games are real. This game or preseason, they're not just, you know, games to to play. We we want to be competitive. We want to win games. And what I mentioned to the referee at the end was, uh, in my opinion, in a preseason game, in what happened right at the moment, maybe he didn't have to give the red card because if it would have been maybe uh, another situation that was, you know, more off it, then you could say, okay, but I think that one, uh, I, I'm not too sure. But, you know, I mean, they taught to do certain things and they are by the book and, you know, they have to do what they have to do.